One of the toughest tasks that Kisumu's county government faces is reviving industrial powerhouses that once dotted the lakeside city. With sugar factories, cotton mills, a brewery and even a match manufacturer currently ill or altogether non-functional, the in-tray is definitely full. The sugar industry, these are ongoing concerns apart from the one that have not been doing well, that are under uh, status, that need to urgently be revived. We are happy that the government has, uh, recalled, has uh, uh, recalled most of the loans that are in this uh, in the sugar industries that is now opening for other investors local or international to come. While the national government seeks to privatize Miwani and Muhoroni sugar companies that lie within Kisumu, the county government also has to face the task of rejuvenating Kisumu cotton textile mills. With the Kikomi, I would say it will be a mid, mid term to longer term to revive it because of getting land for, for, for planting the cotton and then the generis and therefore it will need us to partner with Former Bay and the other counties like Mugori to be able to start off with that. And that is, cannot be the immediate one because we are all as counties still busy trying to develop ourselves at the moment. Kikomi served as the primary outlet for cotton growers who exploited the favorable soils around the lake to cultivate the crop. The runaway success of imported second-hand clothes in the 1990s spelled doom for thousands here who directly and indirectly depended on the industrial giant for income. Also severely hit was the Kenya Breweries production plant in the city's industrial district. Breweries we need to see if we can become county specific and start our own breweries. We have the plant there. There's nothing that stops us from actually partnering, doing a PPP and starting the breweries. It is not something that needs a huge amount of money, neither does it need rocket science. Because it's already existing and it's one of the ones that will be easier. The plant is now leased out to a dairy manufacturer but is almost entirely intact, needing a minor investment to resume operations after years of slumber. The current state of collapsed large-scale producers will no doubt present industrialization cabinet secretary nominee Adan Mohamed with a full plate in the event that parliament approves him. From Kisumu City, I am Fredo Mulo.